Welcome to Journey to the Last Frontier video blog on Knives Out. Today we're going to talk about some of my favorite knives and how I use them uh, in everyday situations as well as in spe some of them are specialty knives. And we'll have an opportunity to kind of check these out as well. So the first one is is very common. Many people probably have it in their backpack um, or in their house or their EDC kit. And this is the Swiss Army Huntsman. And you can see all the various attachments. And of all the Swiss Army knives that are out there, this I find is one of the most versatile. It has a really good knife. And we have the screwdriver, uh, bottle opener, can opener rather, uh, another screwdriver, leverage bar, wire stripper, small pen knife, excellent scissors over here. And then if we close a few of these items here, we can see uh, on the other hand, on the other side rather, we have the awl, which is really great if you have to make holes in belts or other things. And it also has a, a very sharp blade also for stripping. One of the most important features on this Swiss Army knife is the corkscrew, which is, comes in excellent and handy when you're camping or just even as a good pocket knife when you're traveling. And finally, the other items on this knife that are really useful is the uh, toothpick, okay, which fits right in here. There goes the toothpick. And then, of course, the tweezers, which are really, really good when you need to work on something uh, that's really small, such as maybe adjusting the eyeglasses, the screws on your eyeglasses. This could hold them right into place. So this is my Swiss Army Knife Huntsman. And I have several of these in different um, places and always travel with one. Unfortunately, no longer as carry-on, but nonetheless, it's an excellent knife. Uh, another knife that I use a lot is my Buck 110. Uh, this is a classic uh, American-made hunting knife. Obviously, the Swiss Army knife is made in Switzerland. And this is... Um, it's a opener, it's a lock. We have a lock me mechanism right here. You press this down. I've had a buck knife, basically, not this one, but I've always had a buck 110, basically since I've been uh, 17 years old. And I uh, had one throughout the Navy, almost cut myself there. This is extremely sharp. This is not a, a knife to toy around with. I, I take my buck out with me on almost every single outdoor adventure and I do have it in a leather sheath on a belt. Uh, another, another fun knife that I like is this Benchmade, okay? And uh, this is another American-made knife. This is an EDC knife, okay? I, I, this one I have it with me many times in my pocket. It's very easy to open it with one hand, locking blade, okay? And uh, the mechanism is right here to uh, unlock it, and you can also flick it open uh, pretty, pretty easily. Okay, this one probably just needs a little bit of oil. Uh, here's another smaller Benchmade knife that I also carry with me. I like the black handle knives with the clip uh, here. It goes excellent to put it inside your pocket. And you could even wear this with a suit, which I wear this black one many times uh, when I was working in an office setting in a suit because it is black and it looks like just, most people won't even see it if you're wearing dark colored pants or a suit. So this is an excellent knife. A couple of others here that are, are fun. This is uh, just a, a collector's knife, uh, Scrimshaw. Uh, and this I picked up in Rhode Island. This is not on whalebone, but it is a silver handle. It is a very nice blade, relatively sharp but I just really keep this in, in the bedroom on the night table, cut labels off of things or what have you. Okay, so this is uh, an example of Scrimshaw. This here is an excellent uh, camping knife, more for uh, making sandwiches and things like this. I actually got this at Orvis, but it is Italian made, okay? And it is uh, horn, the handle is, is horn. And this is also a very sharp knife. And it's, it's really good if you're gonna have picnics, can't, 
want to cut salami or things of that nature. And it also comes with its own leather sheath. And I got this at orvis.com. Um, now I have a few other specialty knives here. This one's Gerber. And uh, this one here is a little different than, than a lot of knives. I have a, uh, I have several couple of stand up paddle boards, inflatable ones. So this knife does not have a sharp edge at all. Uh, you could see I'm pressing this blade against, against me. So this is really good because if you are on an inflatable stand up paddle and you drop the knife, you don't want it to puncture the, uh, the, the fabric of the stand up paddle. But the blade itself is very sharp. It's great for cutting rope on the serrated edge, fishing line, or what have you. And this is one that I do take with me when I'm on my paddle board. Okay, now we have a couple of other knives here that I wanna show. This one is another Gerber. This is a strong arm. This is a tactical survival knife, hunting knife. This one, I have several of these. This particular one, I actually keep in my truck. Okay, and I have this one, as you can see, a little customized here. It has uh, the shark on this side. And on this side here, I have a uh, compass and I have my initials. So this is a American made, very sharp hunting knife. The great thing about this handle here is also this point here is uh, another another actual weapon that can be used in self-defense or if you need to break the car window if you uh, are in in a situation where you actually need to uh, break a car window this this will actually do it okay last uh, of my functional knives here this is my military issued k-bar when i was in the navy even though these are marine issued knives it's a long story how I got this knife, but I would have this knife for me or usually on me on multiple deployments in the Persian Gulf region. Serrated edge, drop point here, extremely sharp carbon steel blade, leather wrapped handle, uh, blunt point you can see here, I've, I've abused this quite a bit, uh, camping, using it to hammer things down, I have chopped wood with this. I have made spears out of wood with this. This is a, an incredibly well-balanced knife that actually is excellent for throwing as well. The original leather sheath that it came with has a sharpening stone. I don't believe the sharpening stone is original. Actually it is. This is the original sharpening stone that came with it. I've had this knife with me uh, since I think 1980 on my first deployment. So this is an excellent knife. A couple of other knives I have that are more on the collectors. And I did a video unboxing this one. This is my second William uh, Henry knife. This is a beautiful collector's knife. The handle is inlaid woolly mammoth tooth, tooth fossil. And the stones here on the knife itself the handle are citrine and this is a beautifully example of of um damascus steel so this i got this knife for my 60th birthday which was just a couple weeks ago and it's actually the second uh william henry knife i own uh they are collector's items I, this is not an everyday carry uh type of knife this could be used when you go uh, maybe to an event and you want to have a gentleman's pocket knife. This is definitely one. And the last one for the video today is another collector's item. And I buy, I buy these pretty much every year. This is the year of the ox. Okay. Which, uh, is the current Chinese year that will end on February one when the year of the tiger kicks in. And this here is a, another Swiss army huntsman, similar to the one that I showed in the beginning of this segment. And you can see here, this is definitely a collector's item for the year of the ox. Okay, I was born in the year of the ox in 1962. And uh, obviously every 12 years they cycle through. So this was also a 60th birthday present to myself to commemorate the year of the ox. 
with a knife. And they have this every single year. Swiss Army is, comes with a uh, official card of authenticity. And it tells you on the other, on the other side in English, because uh, I cannot read Chinese, it tells you that a prosperous year for the ox. And it gives you a, an entire story about that particular year. Um, every year, Swiss Army knife comes out with a commemorative knife for the Lunar New Year. And this makes excellent uh, gifts. Uh, these are limited edition. They are also uh, numbered. So that is pretty much the, not my knife collection, because I have many, many others, but these are the, my go-to regular use ones. I do have another one here to show. This is not for everyday use. Obviously, this is a World War I American bayonet, really sharp. Uh, this definitely saw action in World War I, and uh, it's been in the family uh, pretty much ever since World War I. And you can see down here, it has the US uh, stamp on it. Definitely, there is quite a bit of damage to the wooden handle here. Uh, this groove here on a bayonet is what's called the blood groove. So as you insert that into an enemy's body, it allows an easy uh, retraction because it won't get caught up uh, on, the, on the mess that it's made inside. So this is a World War I bayonet. I just pretty much keep this in my garage on my workbench. Uh, so this is a review of Knives Out, not the movie, but a review of Knives Out that I have as part of uh, a, a semblance of my uh, vast knife collection. Um, any comments, please leave them in, in, in the uh, comment section on YouTube. Please subscribe to our channel. I hope everybody enjoyed this um, review of Knives Out. Again, not the movie, but just my, my little collection. All right, peace out, everybody. Be safe with sharp objects.